Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. At the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida, the four theme parks are home to many epic thrill rides, including some high-speed thrills. You can blast off on an intergalactic chase to the beginning of time while you twist and turn in the Himalayas, scream till you drop in an abandoned hotel, then race a light cycle through the grid. There is a lot to do, but have you ever wondered which Disney rides are actually the fastest? Well, this here is your updated guide. So be sure to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside, because today, in order of speed, we'll be counting down the top 10 fastest rides at Walt Disney World. Number 10. Fantasyland in Magic Kingdom is home to the first ride on the list, and it's where you can dig, dig, dig your way through the mines of the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. The ride opened in May of 2014, and it's a roller coaster dark ride hybrid that offers a thrilling experience for the entire family. As you travel out of the load station and up the first lift hill, you'll make your way through the winding paths of the enchanted forest before heading into the mine. Now, the coaster's train is a tilting vehicle that simulates the swaying and tipping you might expect to feel in a real minecart. The movement really accentuates the force of the turns. Inside the mine, it's a change of pace, as you're dazzled by the twinkling jewels and the impressive audio animatronics of the Seven Dwarfs. As you pass Dock and make your way up the second lift hill, you'll definitely feel the rush as you head down the largest drop and reach top speeds of up to 34 miles or 55 kilometers per hour. The ride is extremely smooth, and it doesn't feel as fast as it is. With a ride time of about 2 minutes and 50 seconds, the coaster is a fair length, but you do spend just over a minute in the mine. In my opinion, it could use an extra 30 seconds to feel like a more complete experience in terms of being a dark ride, but it's still a great mix of something a bit more laid back with a dose of thrill. Now, although it's already almost 10 years old, which is wild, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is still one of the most popular rides at Magic Kingdom. Number 9. Heading into Frontierland, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is the next ride on the list, and this one never disappoints. The ride opened in November of 1980, making it the second roller coaster at Walt Disney World. Over time, it's become another iconic mountain attraction to find a home at other Disney theme parks around the world. Now, as you board your train and leave the load station, you'll embark on the wildest ride in the wilderness! Reaching top speeds of up to 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour, Big Thunder Mountain takes you up three lift hills, down multiple drops, taking twists and turns through the town of Tumbleweed on this runaway train ride. Now, the further in the back of the train you are, the more exciting Big Thunder Mountain is. This allows you to feel all the momentum from the front, causing quicker accelerations down the dips and drops. So if you are looking for that extra bit of thrill, definitely ask a cast member for the back of the train. It also gives you a bit more time to appreciate the beauty of these views. I mean, they're breathtaking. With a ride time of about 3 minutes and 20 seconds, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is jam-packed with a great dose of coaster fun. Number 8. Let's switch gears and head to Disney's Hollywood Studios, where the Hollywood Tower Hotel is home to the next attraction up on our list. Strategically placed at the tip of Sunset Boulevard, lined with rows of palm trees, you'll find the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, which is one of my personal favorites. The ride opened in July of 1994, and it offers you a fully immersive experience into the Twilight Zone. Set in an abandoned 1930s Hollywood hotel, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror takes guests into the fifth dimension. Now make sure you're strapped in, because this elevator is unlike any other elevator you've experienced. After stopping by this dimly lit corridor and passing through the maintenance room, 
The anticipation builds as you sense the thrill that's just around the corner. With the light flashing before your eyes, you enter the fifth dimension and the elevator drops you 13 stories, reaching speeds of up to 39 miles or 63 kilometers per hour. This is one ride you'll feel in your gut, and not only is this packed with thrill, but you'll also get a great bird's eye view of the park. Now this isn't your typical free fall attraction. Imagineers, along with the Otis Elevator Company, designed cables at the bottom of the shaft that actually pull you down at speeds faster than freefall. Tower of Terror also uses randomized drop sequences that offer a variation of drops and lifts that keep you surprised every single time. The entire ride lasts about 3 minutes, so get ready to scream, because you never know what kind of drops to expect on Tower of Terror. Number 7 Heading back into Frontierland at Magic Kingdom, work is well underway on Splash Mountain's transformation into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. When the ride opens in 2024, Tiana, Lewis, and a band of critters will take us on a musical adventure as they prepare to throw a huge Mardi Gras celebration. Now the story and scenery of the ride are changing, but the physical ride system itself is not. After leisurely floating down the bayou, then down the first of three smaller dips and drops, this piece of concept art gives us an idea of the first show scene. As you can see, this will still be a unique spin on a classic log flume attraction where at the heart, it's really a Disney dark ride. I can't wait to see the final product. Then as your journey continues, you'll make your way up the lift hill and crest the edge as your log slowly begins to tilt forward. Before you know it, you'll descend down the 50-foot drop at a 45-degree angle in a mere 3 seconds, reaching top speeds of up to 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour. Now if you're sitting in the front, you're sure to get a bit wet, but you probably won't get soaked. With a ride time of about 10 minutes and 30 seconds, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is the longest ride on the list, and it's a great way to cool off on a really hot day at Magic Kingdom. Number 6 Making our way back to Hollywood Studios, Toy Story Land shrinks us down to the size of a toy and gives us the chance to ride Slinky Dog Dash. The ride opened with the land in June of 2018 and it's become a very popular family coaster at Walt Disney World. Now Slinky Dog Dash is an exposed launch coaster, but it's not an off-the-shelf coaster. The coaster layout, which includes two launches, was an original design for Disney, including these little camel humps which was meant to mimic the coils and movements of a slinky. I mean, everyone loves a slinky. With many overbank turns, Slinky soars through Andy's backyard, giving you some great views of the land before reaching the second launch. As the booster kit powers up and launches you up the camelback hump, get ready to reach top speeds of up to 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour. It's an extremely smooth ride, and although the ride looks tame watching it from inside the land, it feels a lot faster than it looks. The launches are one thing, but this helix actually packs quite a punch. Like Big Thunder Mountain, if you want a more intense experience, sit in the back, and if you want something a little more tame, then up front is where you should be. With a ride time of about 1 minute and 50 seconds, Slinky Dog Dash is the perfect throw ride for the entire family. Number 5 Heading over to Disney's Animal Kingdom, the park is home to Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. The ride opened in April of 2006, and at the time it held the record for being the most expensive roller coaster in the world, but unfortunately it's now lost that title. Now Expedition Everest is still one of the most immersive coasters. The track is cleverly designed right into the architecture of the mountain, and there are only a couple places in the park where you can actually see the exposed coaster track. There's a bit of a mystery here of what to expect, just like the mystery of whether the legend of the Yeti is actually real. Now, once you board your train, you'll leave the Tibetan village to make your way into the Himalayas. After ascending up the main lift hill, you finally arrive at the base of Mount Everest. 
Get ready because this coaster has everything from twists and turns through caverns to a set of broken rail tracks that bring your ride to a halt. The only way out is the same way you came in. You'll plunge backwards through the mountain into a helix, giving you the sensation you're going upside down. As you're trying to escape the Yeti, the train dives down the largest drop and reaches top speeds of up to 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. Your train flies along the track, just missing the iconic Yeti, who's now a disco Yeti. I can never get enough of this coaster, and it's one of the only rides at Walt Disney World that has a single rider line. With a ride time of just under 3 minutes, this is one coaster that will definitely leave you wanting more. Number 4 Back on Sunset Boulevard in Disney's Hollywood Studios, you can follow the head of this guitar until you reach G-Force Records, home of Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. The ride opened in July of 1999, and it's another fully enclosed steel roller coaster. Now, the experience begins as you win some backstage passes to the Aerosmith concert. Wait a minute, I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? But the only way to make it in time is with the Super Stretch Limo. Okay, wait, it's out in the alley! Hey guys! Once you're seated, the anticipation builds on this Vacoma launch coaster as Steven Tyler counts down the launch. Before you know it, you're going from 0 to 57 miles or 92 kilometers per hour in a quick 2.8 seconds. While you're rocking to the beat of this Aerosmith soundtrack, the ride has three inversions. Two rollover loops that happen just after the launch, and one corkscrew near the end. It's actually the only coaster at Walt Disney World that goes upside down. As you're speeding past neon street signs, most of Rock and Roller Coaster takes place in complete darkness, which definitely adds to the thrill. Compared to newer launch coasters, I'd definitely say Rock and Roller Coaster is one of the most intense coasters overall at Walt Disney World. Although the ride only lasts 1 minute and 22 seconds, short ride times are typical with most traditional launch coasters, but no matter what, it's always a thrilling experience on Rock and Roller Coaster. Number 3 Tomorrowland at Magic Kingdom is home to the newest ride at Walt Disney World, Tron Light Cycle Run. As the third Vekoma launch coaster at Walt Disney World, Tron officially opened on April 4th, 2023. What makes this launch coaster unique is the motorbike design of the trains. Now, they can be a bit constraining, so you can find a test seat just before you enter the indoor queue to be digitized. Also, some of the trains have standard coaster seating in the last row, so that's also an option. As you lock your restraint and are given the all clear, get ready for a trip on one of the most aesthetically pleasing rides. This launch takes you from 0 to 59 miles or 95 kilometers per hour, where you then find yourself soaring under the outdoor canopy. If you're lucky enough to ride at night, the lighting package also extends onto the canopy with these stunning pulsing neon lights. It looks really cool. Once you're back inside, the neon theme continues as you race the orange team through the grid. It's such a fun coaster, plus it's all tied together with an epic Daft Punk soundtrack. Now, usually Disney allows you to bring everything with you on the ride, but in this case, because of the seat design, all loose articles that are larger than a phone will need to be placed in a free locker. Once you get to the loading platform, there are these little compartments in your seat for smaller items. With a ride time of about 1 minute and 30 seconds, Tron Light Cycle Run is another one on the shorter side, but it's an extremely smooth ride packed with a giant dose of thrill. Number 2 Epcot has seen lots of changes over the years, and one of the new additions to the ride lineup was Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. The ride opened in May of 2022, and dare I say this record-setting coaster is the best coaster at Walt Disney World. Once you enter the Wonders of Xandar Pavilion, you'll pass through the Galaxarium and the Xandar Gallery before making your way into the pre-shows. 
It's here where you discover the cosmic generator has been stolen and Celestial sends the Terrans through a jump point. Wait, what? Hey, look, they're our only chance of keeping track of that whack job until we get the cosmic generator back. Now get ready for a rockin' trip with the Guardians of the Galaxy as you travel to the beginning of time. Now this is the only Disney coaster with a reverse launch, which just happens to reach 60.3 miles or 97 kilometers per hour in a matter of seconds. It really gets the adrenaline pumping. The ride does not go upside down, but with it being an Omni coaster, each of the cars do spin. Now the spinning isn't anything too intense, but it can be a bit disorienting at times. If you're prone to getting dizzy, just be prepared. The spinning is all timed to direct attention to show elements, so in this regard, every ride will be the same. Now where your ride can be different is with the music, because there are six different songs you can get. This includes Conga and Disco Inferno, so this creates a great sense of rewritability. It's an incredibly fun coaster, and when you're zooming past these massive screens, you realize the sheer scale of this ride. It's a massive, high-tech coaster. In terms of length, this is actually the longest enclosed indoor steel roller coaster in the world, coming in with a track length of 5,577 feet. A record-setting track length also means a longer ride time, which comes in at about 3 minutes and 20 seconds. For a coaster, it's a pretty long ride time, and you'll definitely want to ride this one again. Number 1 Staying in Epcot, Test Track is the fastest ride at Walt Disney World and the fastest ride in any Disney theme park across the world. Officially opening in March of 1999, it was the first ride that featured the slot car style ride system. Now, Test Track did go through some changes in 2012, with Chevrolet now getting the sponsor spotlight. Over in the Chevrolet Design Studio inside, you get to customize and design your own vehicle, then get a chance to test that design through the ride's indoor and outdoor performance courses. Once you're buckled in, your journey starts off slow, but as you get going, you'll experience some pretty quick accelerations and stops through the futuristic show scenes. They aren't too thrilling, but there's a lot of cool visuals in here that are very similar to Tron, but not Tron. They do, however, prepare you for the most thrilling part of the ride. Once your car breaks out of the shill building and heads outside, Prepare to race around multiple bank turns, reaching top speeds of up to 64.9 miles or 104 kilometers per hour. You better hold on because you'll definitely feel the wind in your hair. Test Track is another ride that offers a single rider queue which can drastically cut down on wait times. With a ride time of about 5 minutes, Test Track has a little something for everyone, especially the thrill seeker. So, what's your favorite ride at Walt Disney World? And how many of these rides on this list have you been on? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video!